Well, it's interesting when people ask me why color is important. I, I feel like saying, why is oxygen important? You know, why do we need to breathe? We do, and I need my color. It's, and it's, it's as important to me as breathing. Uh, it's, it's a, there's, color is life enhancing. It makes, you know, it makes life go from a black and white photograph into something rich and full-blooded. That's what it is. It's, it's, um, it gives you the passion in life. The Maybe a better way for me to put it is, how does color express itself in your work? I would say color is the most important thing in my work. Um, and after that, pattern is very important of how that color is organized and, and the repetitions of it and the the way that it sits on an object. Uh, but um, I would, you know, I, I remember my favorite painter for a lot of my life was Bonnard, the French painter. And he once said, a painting is first and foremost an arrangement of color, then the rest follows. And I feel that about my work. You know, I want to get the color right first. This is uh, being described as a retrospective and also very much a return visit by you to the American Museum in Britain. This has a, a special place in terms of how you were inspired in terms of colour and pattern, am I right? Yes, I, 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 all museums are important to me. I love the past and I learn so much from the way those old guys arranged pattern and color so i'm constantly looking at old objects and so of course when i came to uh, england uh most of england was like a museum to me you know it was this wonderful old world you know where people had carpets and wallpaper that was falling apart and they didn't care because it was a fabulous old print that you couldn't get again and they would just leave it there and things like that were very not terribly uh, the way Americans did things in those days. So I loved all of that. And the American Museum gave me my first commission. I came up here and I sat in these wonderful rooms and drew them for their guidebook so that I was absorbing my history because it was American history, but it was in these beautiful, this wonderful English mansion. And um, uh, just, just the combination was wonderful, and and it it was a it, it it gave me a wonderful start into my life in England, and I'm sure had a had a lot to uh, to play in the, in the, in the fact that I stayed here for 50 years uh, and made it my home. Uh, the American Museum is famous for its quilt collection, and I'm told that even you are a quilter now. <laughs> yes, uh, I. I I started my life as a painter, and then I went on to discover knitting, and uh, that was just wonderful, and needlepoint, and all of those other crafts. And I came last to patchwork and quilting, but um, I absolutely love it. It's very immediate. You take these worlds of color and you place them in, in an extraordinary way. But also, uh, when once I was making my own rag rugs and patchwork quilts, I had an appreciation for the wonderful collection that's here uh, at the American Museum and came back and looked at it with new eyes once I was actually making those objects. The, the coloring is incredibly intense. It has an amazing wow factor when you see it for the first time, but can you have too much of a good thing? I mean, when you sort of switch off your studio light, do you go home to a house that's battleship gray? <laughs> People often ask that. People ask me, you know, uh, what do you do when you have a headache? Now, don't, you know, don't you find some corner to live in? No, I, I'm, I'm stimulated by color. It keeps me going. But you can get too much of a good thing. If color was disorganized, it can be as ugly as anything else. In fact, it can be far uglier because it's, it's more in your face. Uh, so I'm, I'm after beauty and harmony in my color. I take away as much as I bring to an object. I'm constantly taking away things that are distracting from the buzz one should get from color. And so um, I don't want discordant 
any old color. I want it to be beautiful. And certainly the exhibition is themed in just that way, isn't it? Well, yes, I mean, that, I, I was just saying to, to somebody else that it, this, this museum uh, exhibition is about pools of color because I work in palettes of color. And when you walk into these rooms, it's undeniable the way I work with color. It, for the first time ever, I've been able to achieve my green space and my blue space and my pool of red and my wonderful honey yellows. So it's, uh, it's very exciting for me to see that. And the all-important grays and neutrals, which are also very beautiful. 